I would have thought one of the lead storylines going into Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals would be Drake. But that's where a lot of the talk was yesterday after he taunted Giannis and even rubbed Nick Nurse's shoulders while sitting in his usual courtside seat during Toronto's Game 4 win. Here's Mike Budenholzer's thoughts on Drake. I don't know of any person that's attending the game that isn't a participant in the game, a coach. I'm sorry, a player or a coach that, you know, has access to the court. I don't know how much it, 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 he's on the court. It sounds like you guys are saying it's, it's more than I realize. There's certainly no place for fans and, and uh, you know, whatever it is exactly that, that Drake is for the Toronto Raptors, you know, to be on the court. There's, there's boundaries and lines for a reason. The league is, is usually pretty good about being on top of stuff like that. And there was some other reaction. This is from Georgios Dimitropoulos, who is now a senior executive at Octagon. He used to be Giannis's agent in Europe, and he said, imagine a gig in an athlete on VIP seats right next to the band, stands up on the stage just to show off during the entire game, knowing cameras are on him, occasionally even massaging the singer. Security and him both <laughs> allow it. Never seen anything as disrespectful as this before. I, I should point out, in case I forgot to do so at the beginning, he subsequently deleted that tweet, but as we all know, those things live forever. So, uh, I'm going to give both of you guys we're going to split up the conversation on this here Jalen you first quickly what do you make of Drake's involvement if you will in the game Milwaukee need to stop crying they're really being sensitive right now to the point where when they were up 2-0 I didn't hear anything about this I know he was not at the games in Milwaukee well that's why you didn't hear anything about it if there was a four game <laughs> sweep this would not be a conversation today I love the fact that one of the mega superstars in the world loves NBA basketball so much so that y'all got caught up in calling him a fan. He ain't no fan. He's an ambassador for the team. He gets paid by the Raptors. He helps design their uniforms. There's a club in their arena named after him and the label that he started. He ain't just a fan. He's a part of the organization. Look, that sounds great. Uh, you know, that, that sounds great. Jack Nicholson, he wasn't just a fan either. Out there. He wasn't running around like Massage and Riley. I mean, you've got to draw a line somewhere. This dude, this Jordan rules, there's got to be a Drake rule. And the Drake <laughs> rule is, you know what? You can't just – he needs a get-back coach. That's what he, he needs that football guy that just grabs him and pulls him back. That's what the dude needs because it's great being involved. It's great participating. It's great having passion, ownership, all that stuff. So Drake can do it. What's the next most famous guy in, in Toronto? Is he allowed to do it also? The nurse doesn't have enough shoulders. I mean, it's ridiculous. He's coaching his team. It's great for the ownership. You can say, well, you know, when it was 2 oh, yeah. One, he wasn't there. Number two, they were getting smacked. So it's a totally different thing. You can't, you've got to draw a line somewhere. It, sometimes if fans get on the court, that's an issue. Sometimes two people can disagree and both be right. I think you're both right. I think Milwaukee needs to forget this is happening. Like, this <laughs> cannot be in their heads, and, I, and I, I don't think this is something that is actually affecting them. But do I think that there has to be some point? And, yes, I get that he is more than just a fan. In the way that Spike Lee is more than just – Spike Lee doesn't have the same exact stake in the Knicks that Drake does in the Raptors. But we all understand there's a little bit different here with Spike Lee, and he's got his seat. He's demonstrative and all of that. But Drake is running up and down the sideline. At, at some point, is, is there no limit <laughs> that's to where it would be get to Michigan be too games. much? <laughs> Correct. I mean, uh, that's going to be jail in the Michigan Everybody games. that's complaining <laughs> about this clearly hasn't sat front row at a sporting event. When you get a chance to get down to the front row, you're allowed to walk from end to end. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to walk there, like, to your seat and then sit down. You don't run back and forth in Fa front of everyone fans while it's going Fans all of the time be slapping high fives with each other on the sideline. We talked about somebody touching Russell Westbrook a couple of times this year. They weren't yeah, famous. But, no, and they almost no, got, they, thrown, they, out they almost got thrown out of the arena. Thrown out of the arena. People don't really realize this, but, you know, like, when people come in to visit and watch a show, they come in and massage Greenies back all no, the time. No, no. I, I mean, and, 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 and I'm very comfortable <laughs> I, with that so long as they are internationally famous. I have, I have zero problems with Drake supporting his team. Everybody needs to stop crying. Let him have his VIP pass. Okay, let us see. Laura, take it over there. I know you have some other opinions. Yeah, so I got Bruce and Swagoo over here. And Bruce, actually, if you guys could have seen his face during that entire time, he's itching and ready to go. Let me just go ahead and make it clear. I'm actually on Team Drake. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. But I'm on Team Drake because I actually love it, and I think it's fun and hilarious. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm with you guys on Milwaukee's got to stop crying about it. But also, Drake is, as much as he's not a technical fan, he is a fan. He looks like a 
kid out there, he's having a blast. You know, I remember back in the day when me and Jalen played, a guy by the name of Spike Lee would be right there at Madison Square Garden. And I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to go to him and do something if I got the ball and did something <laughs> positive. Now, I know someone who did do something to him that Reggie Miller did. He gave him this sign. He yeah. gave him that sign like, mm. It's not, it's not, now I'm going to go with you because of your support. But I just got to say this, Wagoo, it's amazing that the losing teams have such fans that are out there all the time. <laughs> I mean, Drake, uh, Toronto hasn't won anything. Yep. New York hadn't won anything when they had the great Patrick Ewan, Oakley, Allen Houston. Now, I love what he does as far as his passion, but come on now. First of all, don't put your hands on me, man. Okay. That's number one. <laughs> number two is, that's just Ooh, like I with... Was, I was worried Not about you, that. Bruce. Not you. Oh. With oh. Drake. With Drake. <laughs> my bad. Good my bad. Hey, Bruce. My bad, Bruce. Bruce. My bad. You I got give, Bruce like... I got Bruce give, like... What, what happened? Hey. You no, can give but, but, Marcus a uh, massage the rest but, of this but, time. But, but, but Laura, Laura knows how I am about this. Remember Jimbo Fisher put his hands I on I know. Don't, you don't, don't put like your hands it. on me. I don't care in what sentiment it is, because you don't know what the other man thinking. Like, I get it. But But... And then too, people say Drake a fan of the rapper. Drake a fan of every damn everybody. Body. Like Drake been <laughs> a fan of everybody. Out, to be fair, it has not worked out for the teams that he's been. And it ain't gonna of, work so. out for Toronto. I hate Did it to work? say it. It didn't work for New York. It ain't worked for Toronto. And it's, okay. Ain't Nick, he part on other clubs? Nick club Nurse or did say maybe. Nick Nurse did say he didn't even know that Drake had done Man. that until somebody showed him a picture. He probably Listen, thought it was like an assistant coach or that's something. That's going too far. 